Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. A desperate discovery. Search teams have found at least 12 bodies on the steep slope of an Indonesian volcano where a Russian-made jetliner crashed. All 45 aboard are feared dead. The jetliner slammed into a dormant volcano at nearly 800 kilometres an hour during drizzle. Both the Russian and Indonesian presidents have agreed to work together on the rescue operation and to investigate the cause of the accident. A positive appeal. A Cork businessman jailed for 10 years on money laundering charges related to the 2004 Northern Bank robbery in Belfast has had his conviction quashed. Key evidence against Ted Cunningham at his trial was a fine of £2.4 million sterling in a cupboard in the basement of his home. So far, he'd been the only person convicted in connection with the robbery in which £26.5 million sterling was stolen. He now faces a retrial. Al-Qaeda did it. The head of Syria's main opposition group has said the twin suicide car bombings in Damascus yesterday appear to be the work of the terrorist group, which he says has links to President Bashar al-Assad. Meanwhile, the clean-up operation is underway in the Syrian capital after the rush hour attacks, which killed 55 people. The attacks are the worst to hit the capital since the 14-month uprising against Assad's rule began. An international undercover op, the agent in the foiled underwear bomb plot linked to Al-Qaeda, was a British citizen. Sources say the informant, who is possibly of Saudi origin, was working in cooperation with Britain's two spy agencies. The agent was sent by Al-Qaeda to attack a US-bound plane, but left Yemen and gave the device to US intelligence. Holy men in hot water. Senior monks from South Korea's largest Buddhist sect have given their resignations after a video apparently showing monks gambling illegally was released. South Korean media aired the hidden surveillance camera video of eight monks allegedly huddled together for a poker game at a hotel in the country's southwest. The footage was secretly taken by another monk and released to the media. And some quick thinking caught on camera. CCTV has captured a father jumping from a moving car to run to the aid of his four-year-old daughter who fell from the same car at a busy crossroad in China's southeastern Zhejiang province. The child is seen slipping out of the front door of the car and onto the road, narrowly missing the back wheel of the car. She falls straight into the path of a taxi, which manages to break just in time. The panicked father is seen leaping out of his car, which careers off the road and into a near by tree. It's not known if the child was injured. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, this dog turns macho when he's caught giving Teddy a bath. Yeah, is he giving him a bath? <laughs> Busted. <laughs> At number four, self praise is the best praise. Again! <laughs> Do it again. You did it! At number three, it may seem bananas, but this monkey is the perfect pet owner. What are you doing with the kitten? <laughs> At number two, if only all train journeys came with their own orchestra. And number one today, these puppies are barking mad for a good twist. Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, all of today's tech news, and Paul will be here with all of the sport. We'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.